Welcome to Highline Excel class number nine. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download this workbook. If you're in the class, just go to our week two website. Hey, in this video, we want to talk about the sum if function. Here's the situation. We need to summarize the sales for the sales rep. Now, I'm going to start with a little data table, and then we'll do a big, huge one, a more realistic one. Now, in this cell right here, we want Sue sales. So we just click this uh, equal sign, this, plus this, right? And then enter. Uh, no, that's not it. We can't do it that way. That would take forever with the big thousands of rows data set like we have here. No, instead, we'll let a function do it for us, sum if. What does sum if mean anyway? It means <clears throat> we don't want to add all of them. If we wanted to add all of them, we just use auto sum. We only want to add some of them. And what is the sum? Uh, some of them that we want to add? Sue. So there's a condition or a criteria. So the criteria is look through this uh, column of names here, find all the Sues, and only add up the ones in the sales columns or unit sold column that belong to Sue. So let's see how this works. Equals, and I'm going to type sum if. <clears throat> Now, the screen tip is pretty polite. You can always use the uh, f of x when you're learning this. So I'm going to click this. And this is very polite because all of the arguments are listed here, and there's descriptions. So range is the range of cell you want evaluated. This is They should have said this is the range of cells you want evaluated that has all of the criteria. I guess they didn't do that because they uh, use that as criteria. So no way. This is the one that has a criteria, because remember, our goal is to add up for Sue, so we have to tell it where all the names are. So there it is. That's the first argument. The criteria. Criteria, it says, is the condition or criteria in the form of a number expression text that defines which cells to be added. Notice, range shows us the, all of the names, right? So we want to add all the ones that are Sue. So here, we're simply going to click on this cell right here. Finally, there's uh, the third argument, which is sum range. Now, the sum range are the actual cells to sum, right? The, criteria, the range with all the criteria here, the actual piece of criteria, which will determine which one to add here, is right there. This is the column, so we highlight this. Now, I actually want to hit F4 here, and then come up back up here and hit F4. I forgot to do it up there, because we want to lock those so we can co copy this formula down. There's all of the cells to be evaluated. There's the criteria, and there's the sum range. Notice it gives us 62. Now, I want to do this one more time just by hand, equals sum if. And look at the screen tip. The range, the way I remember it, because I use the screen tips a lot, I just go to the last one. Oh, yeah, that's the sum range, right? So I, I'm not going to get confused. That's the final range with all the uh, values to be added. So this range and this range have to do with the criteria. So range, that's all of these. Boop comma, criteria. Oh, yeah, that's this one. Finally, comma, oh, that's the sum range. Those are the things I want to add. Now I'm going to hit F4 there. Click back here and F4 both of those. Come to the end and close parentheses. Control Enter, and now I can copy this down. Click in this cell right here and hit F2. Now, uh, here's a little trick when you're learning how to do this. If you want to check and see if this got it right, uh, click on that cell right there, and you hold Control, and then click on this cell. That allows you to highlight non-contiguous cells. Well, look down here. It has all these super cool um, functions that turn on and off in the status bar. It shows you the sum is 200. Oh, but watch what I click here. It goes away. Now I'm going to try Sue. Hold Control. No way. 62. Is that what I got? Yeah, it is. Now let's try. I want to show you one other aspect of some if that is quite useful sometimes if you're making lots of them. I'm going to click here and hit F2. Notice this is the criteria range, so that was all of these. And that criteria range, in memory, it counts how many there are. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's stored in memory. When it goes to add, it doesn't count how many cells are there. It counts how many cells are here. So it always starts here and only goes down 7. So if this range was huge and this one was only 7, the sum if function would only add the first seven. Let me show you a, a way to use this to your advantage. Equals sum if. The range is there. 
F4 to lock it, comma, the criteria is right there, and that's a relative cell reference, comma, and the sum range, all you got to do is click in the top one and hit F4. That first cell is just a marker because the sum if uses the fact that there's seven values here. It always, no matter what range you type in for this one, it always starts there and counts down seven. Uh, close parentheses, control enter. Now, that is only a trick that if you're doing lots of them, it just, um, I'm double clicking and it won't send it down because there's nothing right there, so I have to click and drag. Uh, if you're doing lots of them, it just saves some extra time highlighting all the way down. Now, uh, one more important thing about sum if. Uh, here, we want to add up all the sales for our various payment methods. Ah, but all the data is over here, raw data. And this is a huge data set. Well, there's only 200 sales. So if I scroll down, I can see there's lots of them, right? Here's our column with our uh, the things we want to evaluate, right? Our criteria is going to be MasterCard or Visa, et cetera. And here's all of our range for adding. So I'm going to go back over here, boop. And now we're going to start our formula here, equals sum if. The range, now we're going to do a worksheet reference. So I'm going to click over in raw data. Click in uh, the very first cell for payment method, control shift down arrow, F4. That locks it. Now, we can see our screen tip right here. And so we type a comma. Now, here's the problem. If we go back over to the sheet, which we're going to, we're going to click on it. Notice it puts in the, the name of the sheet, right? Sum if exclamation point. We, won't, we don't really, even if we click right here, that'll work. But that's unnecessary. That just happens when you're working between sheets. So a lot of times I either remember what it is from the outset and just type it in, or I, I click on the sheet, get the sheet reference in there, and then delete it. Because all we need is J3. The criteria is in bold. So I'm going to click up here and type a comma to get to the next sum range. Now I have to go back over here. So we're going building a formula back and forth between sheets. Click on the raw data. The sales are here. You can see up there it has raw data explanation point. I click on the top cell. Control shift down arrow. Notice you can see this up here. F4 to lock it. Close parentheses and then enter. Now I'm going to click here and hit F2 to put in edit mode. And E4 to E203 locked. J4 to J03, that looks OK. And then we have that right there. So Control Enter. And then I'm going to click and drag. I'm going to come over here. Alt equals. That's the keyboard shortcut for auto sum. And then hit Enter. Now I'm going to go back over here and just uh, check, triple check. I'm going to Control Home to go to the top of the data set. And I'm just going to, this is an indirect way of checking, right? I'm going to click right here, Alt equals. I'm going to click right in that cell. Control Shift down arrow, and instead of Enter or Control Enter, I'm going to Shift Enter. That moves the cell up. Notice I just added all these without any criteria and got 15011.55. Let's come over here. That looks like I want. Looks like what I got there also. So that's doing the sum if, where the criteria is in a different sheet. You can also do it to a different workbook. Now. I want to give you a heads up that that's all we're going to cover in this uh, short sum if. But if you want to learn more about sum if, here's a, an Excel video at YouTube right here that has 21 examples, all sorts of amazing examples for sum if. So if you're using sum if a lot, you got to watch this video. All right, when we come back, we we're going to talk about percentage increase. We're actually going to use sum if. VLOOKUP and percentage increases all together in some formulas. All right, we'll see you next video.